Okay, let's talk about workflows. Um, they're one of the coolest things that SharePoint can do. If you ask me, it has a lot of stuff they can do, but workflows are the coolest thing because they facilitate processes that maybe normally are, are performed manually or that uh, require some kind of manual interaction. Um, so an example of a workflow, like I said in the article, was, was baking a cake. You gather the ingredients, mix them all together, put them in a pan, put them in the oven and bake them, take it out, cool it, uh, play, put it on a plate, frost it, and then cut and serve the cake. That's a workflow. An ex another example is how to play Pictionary. And this is kind of a, the way that workflows will look whenever you're designing them with Visio, which is another Microsoft product. Um, you draw a picture. That's the first step. And then did they guess it? It's a yes. If they guessed it, then you win. If they didn't guess it, then you're going to go the no route. And then you're going to point repeatedly to the same picture. And then you go back to did they guess it? If no, you continue this loop until this condition is met and you go further. So that's really what workflows are. And the way that SharePoint builds workflows and you build workflows in SharePoint is with SharePoint Designer. And you do that uh, using simple if-then statements. And I'm going to show you um, later on in the lesson, I actually, um, I actually build a workflow and walk you through doing that. And one of the workflows I have for it is the ticket workflow. And that's for a list that sends out email notifications when somebody creates an item in a list. It's mainly for a help desk. But let me show you what it looks like. This is a simple, simple workflow that sends emails. If current item status equals open, send an email. If current item status equals closed, send another email. So you basically set conditions on the way that you're your system is set up and your list is set up. So with the status being closed, I would have, it would have sent me an email regarding it being closed. That might be a little vague, but really workflows just trigger processes that follow a step-by-step -step process, uh, not process, step-by-step -step, uh, list of directions on what to do with an item or something that's put into SharePoint. So it's pretty simple. Check out the other lessons, especially the one I'm building the workflow if you're really interested, and you'll get a walkthrough through that.